Okay, uh, let's try making this video. I want to talk about uh, how to install Zoom uh, on your computer uh, within the Chrome browser. Why would you want to do this? Um, if you do not have admin rights to your machine, you may have to uh, do it this way so that you can use the Zoom software. So it's actually operating within the Chrome browser. Um, now, the first thing you need to do is, you know, start your machine, log in, and um, then start up Chrome, uh, Google Chrome, and log in. So you can do your login details here. By the way, you can log into this with your work email address. So you put your normal work email address here and go click sign in. Then after that, you'll see a little CQU uh, login page. You put your CQ login name and password, and then it starts up Google Chrome. Now, what you want to do here, and I'm using my other my personal uh, Chrome here as an example. You want to go to the uh, uh, web store, so the Chrome web store, and you just type in Z O O M, all right, to find Zoom. Uh, now I found it here. Now, by the way, you need to. There's a few different Zoom products. There's a few different Zoom software. Uh, you want to find the one with a little white camera inside a blue square. That's the one you want to install. So you just click uh, Add to Chrome, and Add, and you'll see a little message here. This extension's been added to this. So after it's been added, you can um, click on the Zoom scheduler and it'll ask you to log in. So I just click log in with Google and it already has your login ID because you've already logged into Chrome. Uh, now you've got a few options here. So we've got settings, uh, profile, schedule a meeting. So you can schedule a meeting and send out invites or start an instant meeting. <clears throat> and you can see that that's my personal email address. If it was through work, you'd see the work one. I'll just see if I can show you that as an example. Um, so if I click on that one, so this is installed within my work browser saying log in. Let's see what happens. So you can see there's my work email address. So you can put it on your work one or you can put it on your personal one. It's the same thing. So uh, since I'm on the work one, I'll just keep, keep going this way. Uh, you can go on settings here to check anything in there. Um, not really, uh, not really much. I need to change in there. Click back again. Uh, you can schedule a meeting. So you basically um, it goes into your calendar. And you can see a little CQU University logo on the top. So that's that's enabled for our work. Um, and there you have the meeting ID. That's important. Um, and uh, you can add anyone you want to invite to that meeting here. So, for example, I can put my coworker's name like that, and I can set the time, and I might put it for, say, the afternoon, after lunch, and just a short meeting, and save. And then you can see on the calendar there, there's my Zoom meeting. So that's pretty straightforward. Um, what if you just want to start it right away? Well, you just click on the thing again and you start instant meeting. Now, um, what it will do is it will, it needs to download and run the Zoom launcher. Now, I have experimented with this. I got my coworker to log into a machine, which he had no admin rights for. And it seemed to work. Well, it did work. So um, I'm hoping that you will also be able to do this with no problems. So you can see there's click Zoom launcher. So click on that, run. Uh, instantly, I do have admin rights to this machine, but I think that you would be able to do this on any machine that you log into. So just let me know if there are any issues and I will correct that statement. But at any rate, uh, this is the procedure that you go through to set up Zoom on your uh, 
Chrome browser. So it usually it doesn't take that long to install unless, of course, you have a particularly old computer or particularly slow computer or maybe a slow um, network connection. And that's something worth bearing, in previous, bearing in mind is that in previous tests, we found that when we were using the Wi-Fi connection, the video wasn't so smooth and the, the sound wasn't so smooth. So the, ideally, you would have a network connection to make this work. Uh, second thing is, of course, I've got the webcam attached, which has got the built-in mic. So you can do things like test the audio. That's extremely loud. Uh, let's turn the volume down a bit. And uh, test the microphone. Testing, testing, one, two, three, testing. Microphone, testing, testing, one, two, three, testing. All right, so that looks all good. I can look at the video. Uh, I'm not sure how that's going to pick up because I'm using Screencastify at the moment and it might get a little confused there. So we'll just leave that for now. Um, usually webcams don't work with two different programs at the same time. Usually they only work with one program at a time. So that's a little bit of a hitch in making a video about using software that uses the video. Um, so anyway, uh, we can just join by computer using the computer audio. Uh, I can do lots of interesting things here. So at the moment the video is off because of what I've told you about before. Um, I can invite people uh, using your work email, which is usually your default uh, Gmail or Yahoo Mail. Um, I can record the video. I can share the screen. So you choose what you want to share on the screen. And you can see this little window at the top here. Uh, pause. Stop. And uh, that's pretty much it.